Okay, today we're going to snake a bathroom sink. Hey, the Cox here. Thanks for joining us on Around the Home. So today we're going to take this new skinny snake, okay? This is a brand new product, well, at least for me. Maybe it's been around for a little bit, but it's the first time I saw it in the store. I went to Lowe's, saw it, decided to buy it because I want to try to snake out this bathroom sink without taking apart the drain. Most of your traditional snakes are just a little too big. They'll get caught up on, you know, on the cross member, on the uh, plunger, any of that kind of stuff, they just get stuck on it, so it's not happening. I have an older video where I take apart the drain of the pop-up part of, of the, the vanity sink of the P-trap, and, and that way you can get the clog off it, because most of the time the hair hangs up right there where that pop-up drain lever is and, and around all that kind of stuff. Um, and you were like wondering, why don't you just take apart the drain then? You said you had the older video uh, where you take apart the drain and just clear it out real good, right? Well, I don't know about you, but this is like my wife's bathroom, okay? Um, I don't even need to show you down there. You guys know what they look like. The cabinet is packed full of crap. Hair products, cans and stuff that probably never, you know, been used twice. Hair dryers and this and that. So much stuff down there. I'd, I'll spend like 20 minutes just clearing the cabinet out so I can get to the drain. So that's why I was like, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. I tried one of those little sticks, you know, those plastic sticks with the little hooks on it. I expected it to do a pretty good job because the whole idea is pretty good. Uh, but it just ended up getting caught on stuff down there. Um, on parts of the drain, and I just didn't really have any luck with it. So, let's see how this works. Okay, and real quick, for those of you, yeah, I took the wrapper off, okay, and this is what it looks like now. So there's grip around the base so that you can spin it like this. The, the, the larger, nicer snakes will have a little handle that you can spin and, and turn like that, and then a, you know, a grip handle normally where you can hold like this. This is a mini one, this is very inexpensive, it's like $10, and I do have Amazon links for it in the description down below. So hopefully this video test is my first time to use it, obviously, because I just pulled the wrapper off. Um, so let's hope it works out well. Okay, so you're going to loosen this right here. So you feed the cable, and then you're going to tighten it back, and then you're going to twist it. And you feed it further, you know, undo it, and feed it a little more. You don't want too much cable out at one time. If it's like hanging way out like this above the drain, then the cable's just going to twist and kink. Once it kinks, it's pretty much just ruined. Okay, um, this is only 10 foot long because if I was going further than that, the cable's not strong enough. Again, it would just twist and kink. Okay, so uh, there were some negative reviews on, on this online, but I think mostly it's because people were trying to make it do something that's not made to, because this is a very, very small snake. Standard vanity sink, right? Um, most of the time, these will unscrew right off the top like that. Boom. Now, if yours doesn't come loose, and you, you don't put too much force on it, okay? Because you're just going to snap it. There are some that don't. Alright, so this should be skinny enough to go right in between here without actually having to take the drain apart. This one doesn't drain bad, but um, it just doesn't drain real good. But so far, even though I didn't pull any hair out yet, um, I'm happy with this because... I've actually gotten past the pop-up drain through the P-trap and into the wall through the first angle. So the snake is doing its job. You know, now if I got hair way down in there, much further, or something else caused it to slow down, then, then that's not the snake's fault. 90% of your hair clogs are going to be within the first three feet, whether it's wrapped around the uh, pop-up drain assembly or in that first bend. Okay, now I think that was a total success. Now some of you will be like, wait, you didn't pull any hair back with that. How could that be a success? Well, I didn't know that there was going to be a ton of hair there, or any hair at all, actually. The sink wasn't clogged with standing water. It just didn't drain as fast as I think it should. And maybe the pop-up's not coming up all the way. I just, I'll check into that in a minute. But what I was trying to do with this video is just test this out to make sure we could actually snake a bathroom sink without having to take the pop-up drain apart and the P-trap apart, etc. This snake was able to effectively go down around that P-trap, uh, or past the pop-up, past the P-trap, and into the wall around those corners. So it did get to the place where it's supposed to do. It did do its job correctly. It didn't get stuck. It didn't get wound up on things. It, it didn't bend itself in the process. Um, so, so it worked. It worked well. And I've used a lot of snakes over the years. 
Now this is very light duty, so don't try to like grab some big rat snake a hair that's stuck down way down in there, okay? You're gonna have to take the pipe apart for that. Okay, now to uh, effectively take care of this snake so it doesn't just rust up, so the next time you want to use it, it's, it's working well. Pull the cable all the way out. Go into the garage and yank it all the way out. It's only 10 feet anyways. Dry it off with some paper towels and then let it sit there. Let it dry all the way. Make sure the drum is dry too before you put it back in and then stick it in. It wouldn't hurt to throw some WD-40 on it too. Keep that thing from rusting up so next time you need it, it's ready to go. With that being said, I do give this two thumbs up. I do have an Amazon link in the description down below for it. And if you wouldn't mind, please hit that subscribe button, subscribe to my channel. Then hit that bell for notifications so when I make a new video, you guys get notified for all of our new amazing content. Down below that will be a link to my website. I have hundreds of more videos organized really, really well for you all. Uh, help you out with your projects along with additional resources. And then I have additional videos on the other side of me as well. Thanks again.